Hey guys, uh, with the April update coming out, I thought I'd jump on staging and check things out before they come on to the main branch. And uh, the first thing I checked out was this beautiful egg suit that you're going to be able to buy. Uh, uh, as you can see, you can write on it. To write or draw on the uh, egg suit, you have to have it in your inventory, and you're going to hit paint. Then once you have paint, you can actually see that you can rotate it and draw on it just like a normal sign. See? Now the uh, suit itself though has 25 projectile projection or protection uh, 30 melee and 8% bite protection with only 15% rad but it also gives you the plus one egg vision for the upcoming Easter event uh, so it's not really pay to win but uh, it, it is kind of a, kind of a good protection early game uh, I don't know how you're gonna be able to let's check So the egg suit looks like it takes the same as the ninja suit, 60 cloth and two sewing kits with no uh, no uh, bench needed. Okay. But what people haven't been saying, uh, you can actually use uh, Rust Angelo on it. So it uh, works well with just sayings but as you can see it doesn't do colors that well with the rust angelo but you can fill that in by yourself and then we want to check out the train as well so the train's kind of cool uh, as you can see it moves along at a really good pace uh this is the temporary engine and they're also going to have uh cars that you can put behind it we don't know the total length you're going to be able to haul or, you know, if it's going to affect the speed or not. But we'll find out in further updates, I guess. So the train track is procedurally generated. As you can see, it's a thin line here. And uh, it goes the whole way around the map, sort of zigging and zagging. So it should be a nice addition to being able to get around the map quickly along with the zip lines. Oh, as you heard, I just hit something. And that should be a dead animal. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> if you're going along on the tracks, and an animal steps out in front of you, you've got some free low grade. Uh, it's it's kind of neat, and to run it, it's the same as the uh, cart down, or the work carts in the tunnels. So you can actually see on the readout, you can go to high, medium, low, forward, reverse the same way. And then zero to stop. Then you hold in to jump out to get into it. So far, you just have to jump in the back. Okay, so let's take a look at the zip lines. So here are the towers that the zip lines are attached to. So you just want to climb up to the top. And some of them are one way, some of them are two ways. You just wait till you get to the top to see. Okay, this one actually goes into water treatment. And 
this one goes over to another zip line. So we'll just go this way first. If you press forward, you'll pick up speed quite quickly. And uh, as you can see, some of the lines are glitched out, so you can't see them. But uh, you're going about twice walking speed when you hit full speed. And we'll go back up to the top and go back to the other one. But you're covering quite a distance when you uh, jump on these. So I can see them being a little useful, but we'll, we'll see how much people actually use them. And new are these transitions where you can actually go like past another pylon rather than having to land on each one. All right, so let's go into water treatment on this. So being able to get into a monument quickly without uh, making too much noise, I guess. Eh, not bad at all. But there's a couple of drawbacks. So let's take a look. So the first downside you're going to see with these zip lines is it takes a while to get up these towers to get to the top of them so you're pretty out in the open here everyone can see you going up it uh, anyone with a bolty could be taking pot shots at you now the second thing is uh, you can see that these are all procedurally generated around the map but so are the trees so that means at times when you're cruising along on your zip line carefree all of a sudden, you're going to hit a tree. Fall down and damage. Uh, this one only took 26 damage off, but it could be more depending on the height that you're falling. And then you're on foot again anyway. That being said, there are a couple great upsides. Because they're procedurally generated, they'll give you different ways to get into some of the monuments to be able to counter. So let's take a look. Now, since these are procedurally generated, uh, it's going to be different on every map. But on my map, I did find this one zip line that uh, has a bit of tree coverage coming into the Auckland's gas station. And where it completes is right up on the top. So that will give you a little bit of a speed run in. And another one that I found... was right over here at launch and this one takes you right in behind the green card room the barrels decided so quick way to get into launch uh, and I'm sure there's going to be different on every map so there may be a couple of monuments that are really good to get into, and there might be a couple that aren't uh, that great. Okay, well, hope someone finds this useful. Uh, thanks for watching.